Advantage Plus shopping campaigns are quickly becoming a powerful Facebook advertising asset. And if you're not using it, you're missing out. We have access to more than 150 Facebook ad accounts. And in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down how we run Advantage Plus shopping campaigns. And at the end, we're gonna give you our ad planner to keep all of the ads that you do organized. So stick around. Meta's Advantage Plus shopping campaigns are helping small and large e-commerce brands optimize and manage their ad account much easier than ever before. And it does it through advanced machine learning and AI. With this campaign, you can combine your retargeting audiences and your cold, or how some people call them, prospecting, those goals all into one campaign rather than separate campaigns. Now, Meta says on average, brands have seen a 12% reduction in cost per action and 15% increase in return on ad spend compared to manual sales campaigns. I'd say we kind of see this be true most of the time, but not all of the time. Now, Meta's aim with this campaign setup is to simplify your management of your conversion campaigns. And from my experience and from using this in our own business and then using this in loads of client accounts, I've become more impressed with the results over time. We've actually used this for more than 18 months now. And as that time has gone on, the results we have seen and the stability has just continued to get better and better. Now, from a customization standpoint, there really isn't a whole lot that you can do. It's simple. If you like customizing your objective, your optimization, or your bid strategy, age range, gender, or you like using dynamic creative ads or DCAs, you're not gonna be able to do that inside an Advantage Plus shopping campaign. Now, from a targeting standpoint, it also doesn't give you the targeting options like a manual sales campaign would. So instead of being able to use things like interests and lookalikes in a manual sales campaign, it's gonna go broad or open, meaning you can only select the country. You can't select the gender or the age or select the interests or lookalikes. You can't do any of that. And instead, you're gonna to have to rely on Facebook to find your ideal customers as it goes. You can also choose to include past customers or retargeting lists and then specify a percentage of overall budget that you'd like Facebook to spend to those people. If you have a product that people buy more than once or maybe it's a replenishable, then this is a great option. If you have a one-off product, on the other hand, that has maybe a low repeat customer rate, if any repeat customer rate, or you simply find that retargeting your, your customers doesn't work as well for you, then you may not want to allocate much, if any, to these people. Now, the idea of giving Facebook control, it might sound scary, but what we've seen and started to see over time is that by removing those types of delivery restrictions that we put on Facebook, like age, gender, interests, et cetera, it results in lower CPMs, lower cost per click, and better overall campaign results. Now, from a structure standpoint, advantage plus shopping campaigns are much simpler than manual sales campaigns. So instead of having three levels of the campaign and the ad set and the ad, there are only two levels. We have the campaign level and the ad level. From an organizational standpoint, we found that it is best to organize your Advantage Plus shopping campaigns by theme. Now this could be product or collection or offer or even ad angle. For example, if you have three best-selling items that you normally run campaigns for, it would be best to have separate campaigns for each of those bestsellers. Or let's say you have uh, a collection you're running to, you might only have one campaign to that collection. Or if you're a single product-based business, then it might make sense for you to have campaigns by topic, by pain point, or by ad angle. Then inside each campaign, you'd have multiple ads that fit the theme of the overarching campaign. All right, let's dive into some examples and then I'm gonna walk through step-by-step step, over the shoulder creating a campaign. Now this e-commerce brand that my team and I work with sells seafood all across the United States. Lobster is one of their best sellers. And with a typical manual sales campaign, they were getting a 2.91 return on ad spend, which was great. However, 
once we found proven ads inside those campaigns and we moved them into an Advantage Plus shopping campaign, they were getting a 5.16 return on ad spend, which is over a 75% increase in results. And they were able to spend 250% more on an ongoing basis with Advantage Plus shopping campaigns. This Fudge brand, before working with us, they spent over $15,000 on manual sales campaigns with only a 0.71 return on ad spend, actually losing money. However, once they found their super ads, is what we like to call it, and they launched those ads into an Advantage Plus shopping campaign just over a month ago, they're now at a 2.11 return on ad spend, which is three times better results. Now, you might be listening to this and saying, Josh, skip to the good part. Like, I wanna start seeing what results I can get in my ad account, and that's great. And here in a few minutes, I'm gonna break down over the shoulder exactly how we launch Advantage Plus shopping campaigns. But first, there's one important thing you must do before launching this campaign. The most important piece to a successful Advantage Plus shopping campaign is proven ads. Campaign structure tweaks like this does not trump fundamentals of finding highly scalable ads, good ad copy, great creative. Advantage Plus shopping campaigns don't use any targeting, which is a great thing if you have proven products and ads in the messaging and those fundamentals behind it. So if those are in place, it will make your campaigns perform substantially better. But if, however, you don't have these proven assets in place and you're gonna find that you're throwing together a bunch of unproven assets and you put them into an Advantage Plus shopping campaign, we've seen this actually hurt a ton of brands. I've seen Advantage Plus shopping campaigns bleed bank accounts dry because of unproven or mediocre ads. If you don't have an ad testing system right now, or know how to scientifically find ads that you can then move into an Advantage Plus shopping campaign, then check out our mini course on our scientific testing methodology. We've had over 3,000 e-commerce brands go through it and it teaches every single step of how we test from top to bottom to find the headlines, the creatives, and the primary text. And the cool thing is, all of those three brands I just talked about before found their proven ads through that testing framework and then they move them into the Advantage Plus shopping campaigns. If you want to learn our frameworks for finding ads that you can move into Advantage Plus shopping campaigns, then check out our scientific Facebook ads testing course for e-commerce. It's only 27 bucks. There's a link in the description. Check it out. Okay, let's dive into setting up this campaign over the shoulder. Inside Facebook Ads Manager, we're going to be launching a new Advantage Plus shopping campaign for a Pacific Hound, a dog accessories company. So to create a campaign, go ahead and click Create inside your Ads Manager and select Sales. You'll then be prompted to select Advantage Plus or Manual Sales Campaign Setup. And you'll notice that this campaign is set up a bit different than a typical manual sales campaign in that it doesn't have an ad set level, like I said. And that's because the ad set level is primarily where targeting parameters are set up in the manual sales campaign, but in Advantage Plus shopping campaigns, it handles the targeting on the campaign level. So it removes the need for the ad set. Now we like to have one Advantage Plus shopping campaign per product if we're driving traffic to a single product. And in the case of Pacific Hound, that's exactly what we're gonna do because it helps with that organization and then we're able to see at a glance what products are producing great results and which ones aren't. So we're gonna name this campaign Scarves ASC for Advantage Plus Shopping Campaigns, just for organizational purposes here. We're gonna be driving people to a website for conversion. Now as a side note here, if you have shop in your commerce set up, you could select the option to give Facebook a choice between sending people to shop on their platform or to send them to your website. We've seen this doing better and better over time, but for right now, we're gonna go ahead and select website only for Pacific Health. Then we're gonna select our attribution preference. I'm not gonna dive super deep into this, but for right now, we're just gonna choose seven day click, one day view. Then there's the audience breakdown. 
You wanna set your audience breakdown to what works best for you in your business based on the types of products that you sell. Now this particular brand has previous purchasers and their customer list inside their audience breakdown. What this basically means is that you can do retargeting within this campaign and you can allocate that percentage to go to it. So you may want to include add to carts or website visitors or pass purchasers if you want to do retargeting within this campaign. And I encourage you, ask yourself, do my customers buy more than once? If so, I would recommend including your purchasers and past customers within this. It also, another benefit of this is it helps build social proof on those ads. For daily budget, we're gonna go ahead and set this at $100. Then we're gonna set our start date for this campaign to tomorrow at 12 a.m. As a side note, we like to start our campaigns at midnight so that our campaigns don't start at midday and then accelerate all of our spend in the last few hours of the day. We like to spend evenly throughout an entire 24 hour period. Now, Facebook gives us the opportunity to import existing ads from other campaigns here. And if those are ads that you wanna pull into this campaign, great, go ahead and do that. But for right now, what I wanna do is I'm gonna build out the ads myself so that that way uh, I could show you this entire process and I'm gonna do it using what we call the ad planner. When setting this up, we like to go in with three proven ads. And so we're gonna cycle in three ads, but we've also learned if we give too many ads, the results go all over the place. So usually three is the amount we recommend moving in with. This ad planner is what we use to kind of organize and keep track of the results of our ads. Uh, I'm not gonna dive into every element of this planner. It's super valuable. We have spent many hours using this to organize all of our advertising efforts. So if you think this would be helpful for you, you can go to the ecommercealy.com slash ad planner um, to easily get access to this so you can organize your ads. And there's also gonna be a link in the description where you can go ahead and grab this for free. But now, it is really easy to build up the ads in the campaign when we've done the legwork here. So what we're gonna do, because I have this in the ad planner, we've done that legwork, we're gonna just copy over the headline, the primary text, and then upload our image. Now, from here, when we upload our image, we wanna make sure that they are cropped for the different placements. So we recommend creating the graphic, if you're using an image, for example, in the three different sizes that we're going to need. So we're gonna need a nine by 16, we're gonna need a 16 by nine, and we're going to need a square. By doing this, we're gonna be able to remove the, what's called delivery restriction that Facebook can put on our ads if we only give it one format. So for example, if you only give it square, it will limit how much it spends in stories or in the right-hand column of the newsfeed. And so we wanna give Facebook as many options as possible to remove that restriction. And for the same reason, we also recommend turning on all optimizations. Then we're going to insert the headline and the primary text. Now, since this is a scarf ad and there are numerous scarves to pick from, we're gonna go to a collection page versus just an individual product page. So we're gonna go ahead and insert that URL right here. And then lastly, for this ad, we need to put our UTM tracking parameters in. I don't have time to get into exactly what these are, how they work, why you need them, just know that you do need them. And they are used for tracking users and knowing where they came from. So if you don't know what UTM parameter is to use, don't worry, we actually included the exact parameters that we recommend for Facebook ads on this tab inside the ad planner. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and copy these and we're gonna paste into that URL parameter section and we are done. We would then do this two more times with two more proven ads. And finally, we get the wonderful feeling of hitting that big green publish button. Once you've done this, you've launched your first Advantage Plus shopping campaign. So go ahead, give yourself a pat on the back. That's amazing. And now you might be asking yourself, once I launch this, Josh, how do I scale my Advantage Plus shopping campaigns? How do I know when they're working or when they're not? Or when do I know to turn things off or add new things in? Well, I actually created a separate video on that that you can check out in the description or by clicking the card at the top of this video that will walk you through how we do that. Hopefully this was helpful in breaking down what an Advantage Plus shopping campaign is and how to set it up. If you find it useful, please give this video a thumbs up, but I'm curious from you. Have you tried Advantage Plus shopping campaigns before? How did it work? 
drop it in the comments. I would love to know. And if you're an e-commerce brand looking for more over the shoulder insights like this, hit the subscribe button because we post new videos every single week to help you get more customers and more profit. Thank you.